In this video, how to diagnose a no-crank condition caused by a faulty electronic ignition system, EIS, will be shown. Begin by identifying the vehicle you're working on. Select Body. Select Electronic Ignition System, EIS. Select Actual Values. Select Terminal 15, Terminal 50. EIS remote key and terminal data will be displayed. Begin with the key in the on position. Key in HO, auxiliary contact, should display yes. Output for circuit 15R should display on. Output for circuit 15 should display on. When you are not attempting to crank the engine, output for circuit 50 should display off. Attempt to crank the engine. Output for circuit 50 should change from off to on. Output for circuit 50 should change from off to on. If it does not switch, the issue may be the drive authorization system, DAS, not allowing the start signal. Attempt to start vehicle using a second known good key. If change still does not occur, engine start may be blocked by a plausible park signal or no communication to, from a DAS module. For example, transmission, engine, shifter, or simply a bad key. Further diagnosis is needed. If circuit 50 does change from off to on and the starter does not crank, the issue may be the starter motor or the passenger side SAM. Working at the right side of the engine compartment, unclip and remove the electronic box cover. Using a wiring diagram, locate the connector and wire for the output to starter for circuit 50. Insert a back probe into circuit 50. Connect your DVOM negative lead to battery negative and the positive lead to the back probe at circuit 50. Have an assistant crank the engine while monitoring voltage on a DVOM. When cranking, voltage should change from close to zero volt to battery positive volts as shown. This is a good condition. If meter voltage does not change from close to zero volts to battery positive volts, the passenger side SAM module may be at fault. Consult a wiring diagram and check for proper power and ground to the SAM before condemning it. If voltage is present and the engine does not crank, the starter is likely faulty. Test circuit 50 at starter solenoid and confirm negative and positive connections at starter do not have excessive voltage drop.